Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Up at the cottage helping mom. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> and so I just want to get the leaves off the driveway for my mom. And as you can see, there's a lot of leaves. Plus, we have to winterize the leaf blower. It's like snowing. It's Oh, it's just coming off the trees. Like a big, huge clumps of... <laughs> that big sucker right there. That big coming off the trees. So all the way up here is like a little winter... Winter, 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 winter wonderland. wonderland. Yeah. But uh, right now I'm just going to put my hat on, put the earmuffs on. Ear protection. And get her done. As soon as I get the driveway done, then I'll, uh, I'll upload the vlog. The vlog's uploaded. I just have to launch it for you guys to see it. Hope you like it. Done, mom so got the driveway all cleaned off we were kind of worried that uh, if we did clean it off and it snowed we wouldn't be able to get up the driveway because mom's car I don't think has all-wheel drive so the fact there wasn't a lot of snow up here and we could uh, blow all the leaves off bonus less I have to do in the spring thought I'd show you so it did all the driveway, all the driveway that way, did the deck. Obviously I was trying to get all the clumps off and left all the little piddly stuff. And the whole deck is done. And you can see that there's a lot of snow on there. And it blew off really easily. So that was, I'm glad it was done. But then I went down the back stairs, blew all the black sta back stairs off, underneath the shower, got the shower all cleaned out. Then I did all this got all the paths done got those two gardens three gardens done all the way down to the rock dock and then started coming back this way and it finally ran out of gas there so basically I'm purposely running it out of gas uh, we run uh, stabilizer fuel through it all year long so at the end of the year you just have to run it dry and put it away in the springtime just put new gas in it starts up like a charm that's how I winterize it. I'm sure you guys have different ways. You can fog it, you can do all those other things, but uh, we just do it this way. It works great. So we got all the things we needed done. Got the leaf blower, the weed eaters in the back? Yes. Okay, you got that in there, good. <laughs> I didn't put it in, I didn't see where I it went. To, I had to think about that for Yeah. Me. So that's in there. I'm gonna give them to my Uncle Ross because his cottage house is heated all year long. So I put it in the basement and then that also helps it not freeze and all that uh then we also brought up five jugs of water because my mom put in a whole bunch of new trees along the border between our house and their house and a couple over there so we just had to dump lots of water on them get them all nice and saturated before the winter hits right right so now we're off to susan's susan's and then home Before we 
go to Auntie Susan's, my mom's like, can I buy you some lunch? For doing all the leaves? I'm like, sure. I'm gonna go into Tim Hortons, grab a soup, and a bagel or something. And I need to upload that video when we get it going. Let's go inside and see what we order. All right, just uh, getting this launched. It's just taking forever. Wi-Fi in Tim Hortons sometimes isn't the fastest thing in the world. What is it doing? So other than that, uh, we got cream of broccoli, buns, crackers, and you got the same thing. I just got a double-double on the side, and um, a bagel, everything. Uh, what's it called, an everything bagel? Toasted, buttered, let's eat. Thanks for lunch, Mom. Let's go to Susan's. Almost home. Uh, I didn't videotape anything at Ross and Susan's Cottage. Um, one of the things I'm not super good at is starting a small engine. This is called small engine. So my mom has a, le uh, a weed eater that I find extremely difficult to start. Although I have my own weed eater, same make, almost the same model, uh, maybe like a few years newer than my mom's and I just have a really hard time starting the uh, weed eater. My uncle started it I think in like nine pulls. He just he just knows small engines way better than I do and he got this thing started and that was very cool because I was telling my mom I'm like just just sell it every time we need to weed eat I'll just bring mine because I can start mine no problem. So uh, she was thinking about it until my uncle started the thing and showed me what he did to start it. And one of the things is it has a choke. You have choke on or choke off. And one of the things I never really did was put the choke in between those two. I either switched it on or off because there's like a, a plastic tab between it. So you had to like kind of click it past the tab or click it past the tab on on or off, if you know what I'm saying. So it's just like a switch and he was putting it halfway between on and off and doing the pull start, priming it, probably touching the trigger a couple times here and there and uh, he got it going and it worked great. So yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have uh, an uncle who knows small engines <laughs> and to teach you how to use it properly. Again, I have no problem starting the, the leaf blower at my mom's, the leaf blower at my house. I have no problems with any of the small engines at my house. I guess because I know how to start them properly, but that one was just finicky. And uh, I'm not sure how old it is, but it's just finicky. But it's all resolved. So mom and I uh, just sat with uh, Ross and Susan, had a cup of tea, chatted for a bit, and talked about things that are going on. And uh, then mom and I just drove home. I don't know what time it is right now it is 6 just after oh well 6 15 6 20 somewhere in there and uh, now I'm headed home have dinner with the wife sit back watch a Star Trek she doesn't like Game of Thrones so I have to I have to do that when she's out <laughs> anyway guys thanks for uh, coming along with me on this little uh, adventure with my mom to to just do a couple tidy up things at the cottage uh, you know you got to help your mom and dad uh, you have to help your parents when they need it and uh, I was available today so yeah went up helped mom she bought my lunch good to go all right guys we'll see you tomorrow I gotta put my snow tires on tomorrow so we might do a snow tire adventure